A spray rig with a self-leveling boom was one of the pieces of technology demonstrated to a group of chemical regulators in Queensland for a drift reducing technology workshop. The international group was on a familiarisation tour organised by the National Working Party on Pesticide Application. The NWPPA represents agricultural industries wanting to provide science-based data to regulators who are reviewing spray chemical labelling specifications, including mandatory no-spray zones. This uh, machine over my shoulder has some um, uh, what we call auto-terrain on it, but it's, it's an auto-height system that keeps the boom down on the ground. We can run around all day around the 50 centimetres off our target and it keeps the boom level. Many regulators don't get the opportunity to see this type of technology in operation or talk directly with manufacturers and users, which is why they were even prepared to scramble over a fence to get up close and why the manufacturer had been willing to haul this rig 2,000 kilometres from Adelaide to Gatton for a one-off demonstration. A typical auto height system has sensors out on the wings that measure the ground and can adjust that wing to suit the level of the ground to keep it at a certain point. Uh, this system is independent to the machine now, so the boom can, be, can do whatever it wants and however it has to do it to keep itself level. The group was told a challenge for spray rigs is maintaining boom stability over undulating ground, or when turning, as wings can swing vertically and then horizontally coming out of the turn to start a new run. An extra hydraulic cylinder and a height and angle sensor between the boom and the chassis helps overcome these movements. We believe this is an integral part uh, of reducing drift um, because it keeps us at a level uh, across the entire boom. Most machines, you taught an average spray height is sort of around 70 centimetres, 80 centimetres. Most guys sort of talk about running out there, they like being there, it's safe, they can keep it out of the ground. The sacrifice they make is that there's more drift involved, we can get down to 50 centimetres, still don't have the issue of getting near the ground and there's left drift. A number of manufacturers offer auto levelling booms and fitted with drift reducing nozzles, this technology is helping applicators better manage spray drift, giving regulators an opportunity to learn more about this and other DRTs was what the National Working Party on Pesticide Application provided. It's knowledge the regulators now have as they review new specifications for spray buffer zones.